My name is Marcus Bessa and I'm a senior LEGO designer. For the past six years I've been working in many different projects, but today I'm here to tell you about a model that brought me to my very first LEGO project, Pirates of the Caribbean. Without further ado, let me show you the Silent Mary. And this is no regular pirate ship. Have you noticed it has no bottom? This was one of the hardest challenges to start with. How do you even start a model that has no bottom? I used these big transparent dishes to create the illusion that the ship is actually floating over the surface and still allowing you to have a very steady and stable support to hold this big model. One of the other big challenges was to translate one of the main features of this model in the movie. Without spoiling too much of the new movie Pirates of Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, this ship actually eats other ships in some sort of a centipede sort of ship way. Let me show you how it morphs into that. So by lifting up this and opening up these rib cages, you transform the model into this attack mode, ready to seek for some serious revenge. The messy look and destroyed appearance was also hard to achieve in LEGO, but we tried to tone it down a little bit on one of the sides so you can actually see all the beauty and details of the model. And who knows, maybe even build your own version of the Silent Mary before the destruction happened. We don't have so many graphic details in this model, but we have some of my very most favorite minifigures of all time, and I have another colleague to tell you about it. Hello, I'm Martin Fink. I'm a graphic designer at LEGO. I'm very excited to be working on this model since I'm a huge fan of the movies and also worked on the product line that we did in 2011. So one of the things that I wanted to do was make a newer version of the main character, Captain Jack Sparrow. One of the things that I focused on was adding this nice uh, pattern to the bandana, which adds a nice finish and detail to it. Second thing was to find out which kind of face expression he needed. For that one, we went for his very iconic smirk and then to go along with the scared one on the back side of his head. A challenge was then to figure out which kind of costume he should wear, since the model itself has a lot of brown elements in it, so we wanted the figure to stand out, so that's why we went for the one without the brown jacket on. So then the final one looks like this. But of course, he's not alone. You come with this very nice lineup of minifigures. We have three good guys, four bad guys, and then the last one, also here comes to my biggest challenge, which was making the four ghost pirates to determine the skin color, the color of their uniforms and minor details. Since the reference that we got from Disney was quite dark and ethereal. So then we also added in some transparent element to give them this kind of cool ghostly look. Another cool thing is this very decorative book, which also plays an important role in the movie and you can actually open it and inside it has these nice details that might or may not tell where the character is to go. Last but not least, we have this very awesome zombie shark which was designed by element designer Nick Whitmore and it actually has a hunger for minifigures. With this we believe we have everything that you need to have a great experience with this model. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Bye.